We now know the identity of one of the two men killed in the shooting at a Quebec daycare. But police are being tight-lipped as they investigate yesterday's incident, which left parents shaken. Mike Lecouture reports. Just, it was just kids. Our all kids sitting here, 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 all over. Estelle Dorion's home isn't exactly kid-friendly, but yesterday it doubled as a daycare. She helped the 53 children who were forced from their daycare after a gunman went on a rampage. Remarkably, only one of the kids mentioned the shooting, saying he saw a hunter in the building. It was like a little game for him, because he was laughing and smiling. He says, he didn't see us. He says, we were quiet. That's all. The daycare is housed in two buildings. Police say a man walked into one part at 10.30 and shot a 38-year-old French citizen who's believed to be a daycare worker. The gunman then went into the second building where he took his own life. The name of uh, one of the bodies found on the scene is uh, Robert Charon. And for investigative uh, reasons, we're not uh, determining uh, his role in the incident uh, for now. The police won't say what role Charon played in all of this, but sources tell Global News he was the gunman and the ex-husband of the woman who owns this daycare. It recently separated, and he was apparently extremely jealous. As for the second male victim, it's unclear if he was the new boyfriend or if he was simply a daycare worker who was just trying to wrestle the gun away from Charon. Parents say Charon was a contractor who used to maintain both buildings of the daycare. It's likely why he was able to easily get past the security system and into the facilities. Me and my husband would just grab everything and... Now normally, Dorion and her husband go out Friday mornings, but she believes there was a reason they decided to stay home. I think, I think he was there for, for the children. He made, he made sure that I was here. And she hopes when the children look back at the day, they'll forget the brutal deaths and instead remember the kindness of a few strangers. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Gatineau.